and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning into today's Target bathing suit haul. If you have not checked out my bathing suit haul from last week that was from Walmart, make sure that you check it out in the description box below. I will also put it somewhere up here on the top of the screen and it'll be at the end of the video in the end cards. A huge thank you to all my returning subscribers. Thank you so much for your continued support. If you haven't hit that subscription button, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that red subscription button. Don't forget to tap that bell so that it notifies you every time I upload a video, which will be every weekend. My videos range anywhere from furniture flipping to fashion to day in the life vlogs, you name it. Just like last week's video, I do want to remind you guys, I recently had gastric sleeve surgery, so I do have five very small incisions on my stomach and they will be visible during any of the two-piece try-ons. Other than that, let's jump into the first bathing suit. So this first bathing suit is my favorite from this entire haul. There might be like a close second, but we'll get to that later. I really do love this bathing suit for a few different reasons. One, I love the color and two, I absolutely love the neckline. I am a super fan of anything that is square neckline. I love it in shirts. I love it in dresses. I just feel like it is so flattering and I love it. So this first bathing suit is from Kona Soul. I believe that most of these bathing suits are Kona Soul, uh, except for maybe one bathing suit. Um, this bathing suit was in an extra large 1618. It is $39.99. Also with these bathing suits, like the ones from Walmart, they have these little tags on them that kind of give you an idea of what the coverage is. Here's a look at the bathing suit. I love this color. I love this basket weave pattern on the fabric. It is a raised pattern. And so you can run your hand over it and feel how cool that is. I love it. The one con to this bathing suit is that these straps are very, very far off to the side. I would say like on a normal bathing suit, they might be like a half an inch more inward. And because they're so far on the edge, it does feel like your straps about to fall off. And so when I was wearing it, I was constantly like trying to adjust my straps, but there was nothing wrong with it. It wasn't going anywhere. They were where they were and they weren't going to slip off my shoulder. It just felt like that. Um, but other than that, I absolutely love this bathing suit on the inside. You have this elastic band here that is to help you with some support. There are these non removable cups here with a little bit of padding and the straps also go up and around your shoulder down the back side of this bathing suit. They cross and end in this tie here that you can adjust as loose or as tight as you prefer. Lastly, this bathing suit does feature this really, really cute ruching effect down both sides of the bathing suit which give you a really nice tummy camouflage on the front of the bathing suit. So for our second bathing suit, we're gonna be going over this one right here. I am in love with the pattern on this one. I love the colors. There's sage green, there's aqua, there's hunter green, there's coral, like just so many pretty, I mean, this is literally this screams vacation. I love this pattern. I love also that there are straps on this bathing suit, but there are hooks that will allow you to remove the straps to make it a strapless bathing suit. How cute would that be? Um, it would literally just, look like this <laughs> this is also a really cute feature this bow here with a little keyhole opening just below it there is some ruching on the sides of this bathing suit which also provides you with a nice camouflaging effect across the front of the bathing suit on the inside of the bathing suit we do have these un these non-removable pads there is no wire in this bathing suit in the cup area but there is some boning some really nice pretty hefty boning down the sides which helps to give you a little bit of support this bathing suit is also from Kona Soul it is a size large 12 14 and it says on this little card here it says high coverage one piece it does go all the way up in the back and it gives nice coverage on the booty it's not cheeky at all I will say that these bathing suits from Target are about $10 more than the bathing suits that they had at Walmart. So they're a little bit more expensive, but I will say that even though I really liked the Walmart bathing suits and I felt like they were good quality, these Target bathing suits are top notch. Like the fabric is nice and thick. It just, they feel nicer. They feel worth the price bump. So my next bathing suit is a two piece. Um, I actually picked this bathing suit out with my mother-in-law in mind. I've been dying to get her in a two piece, but she just feels comfortable in her one pieces, which is okay. But what I really like about this one is it's kind of like a tankini. And so it allows you to be in a two piece with still the feel of a one piece. I have this really, really cute lacy kind of um, top it comes with straps so that you can either wear it as a strapless or with straps if you need the support there is no wire in these but there is some boning down the side for some support there are non-removable padded cups on the inside and my favorite feature is that in the middle it opens up right there I think that is so so cute and it's not really like a lace but maybe like a lace like a lasered lace kind of 
such a pretty design on this and i love that you can be in a two-piece if you're not sure about two pieces and you kind of want to try it out i definitely would say go with a high-waisted bottom and a really cute tankini like this i got the top in a large 12 14 this top was 24.99 so together this bathing suit was about 45 dollars i will say these two pieces did not go together these were separates that i picked out um this bottom piece is a kona and sole bottom it's a size 16 18 my tag fell off so it's a size 16 18 it says high coverage high waist and these are really nice and high waisted here are the bottoms i really like this ruching on the sides they have here and again, a nice high-waisted bathing suit comes right up to my belly button. My next bathing suit is also a two-piece. It is also in that favorite color green of mine. It is this really cute top, which does have wire in it. In the back, the straps crisscross, and then um, you just tie these two pieces together here. This is Shade and Shore. This brand is Shade and Shore from Target. There's a little card here that says removable pads. This top piece is a 36C for $24.99. I would say that I was kind of experimenting with what size to get I, because I've lost some weight on top. I wasn't sure if I needed a 36 or a 38. So I went with a 36 because that's what I could find. Um, it was a little snug and I think I probably would go up to a 38, but I really liked the, the fit of this top aside from it being just a little bit too snug. I got the bottoms in a size extra large, 16, 18. Um, I've actually never worn a bottom like this before. They are... A little bit cheeky not something that i'm used to um the tag says shade and shore it says lowest coverage high waist extra cheeky i wouldn't say that they were extra cheeky but um a little on the cheeky side my next bathing suit is a really beautiful like deep mauve color i really loved this bathing suit unfortunately it was really spacious in the breast area so if you're bigger on top this one's for you so here's our next bathing suit. I absolutely love this color. I got it in a size extra large 16, 18, which is comfortable for me around my thighs. It is $39.99. It says medium coverage, one piece. I felt like this was complete coverage. I'm not really sure what they're talking about medium coverage. It has um, some removable straps, so you can either wear it as a strapless bathing suit or you can put the straps on if you need uh, some more support. There is no wire in this bathing suit. There is some nice, hefty, sturdy boning down the sides. The inside cups are not removable but i mean like look at all that real estate there's so much space there so if for my big chested beauties this is for you this is for you. this bathing suit i could feel like the emptiness uh, when i was wearing it but i know the struggle of not having enough coverage or not having enough support so i really like this bathing suit because you can put the straps on and crisscross them in the back for a little bit extra support and then you also have this really cute scalloped um, over flap here which I think is so pretty and when you move it just flows it's full coverage it goes all the way up in the back and I didn't have any issues with cheekiness on this one for this next bathing suit I must not have realized when I grabbed it I absolutely was in love with the pattern first of all beautiful color second of all tie-dye is super trendy right now I love that the bathing suit had wire which is definitely up my alley I love to have that extra support it doesn't have any uh, removable cups this is sewn to the bathing suit it's almost like a double layer kind of um, when I wore it though this inside padding was completely covered you don't see it at all um, it does have some boning on the side as well as the wired cups and then this bathing suit is similar to the green one it crisscrosses and then ties in the back this is my favorite feature here is this little piece of this extra piece of fabric I don't I think it's like a mind thing I feel like when this isn't here I feel like I'm in my bra <laughs> but this kind of messes with my mind and makes me feel like I'm a little bit more secure and covered. I mentioned earlier that I don't think I was paying attention when I grabbed this one. I was just like in love with the pattern and the color. And it's because these are hip huggers and hip huggers are a no-no for me. I have a really bad scar from having my appendix removed about 10 years ago when I was pregnant from my son. Um, and it was early on in the pregnancy. So imagine my belly growing and growing and growing and how well that scar heals. So you'll see a small clip of me wearing these and you can see the scar in the clip. But I try to stick with either high-waisted or like even mid-waist kind of bathing suits that will cover most of the scarf or just a one piece. I really do like this bathing suit. I got the bottom in an extra large, 16, 18. It was 17 dollars for the bottom. I don't think I mentioned how much the top was. So the top was $27.99 and it's from the brand Shade and Shore. If they would have offered this bathing suit bottom in a high-waisted, then I definitely would have kept this bathing suit. But again, because of that really nasty scar that I have on my stomach, I just 
this is the no-go for me. That brings us to our last bathing suit. It is a one-piece bathing suit. I really like this bathing suit, mostly for this really cute scallop feature it has. So here's the bathing suit. It's from Kona Soul. Again, the bathing suit is $39.99. I got it in an extra large 1618. And I just love this cute one shoulder scallop that it had. I thought that was so adorable. It doesn't have any wire, but again, it does have the boning for extra support. On the inside, you have these non-removable padded cups. It is full coverage. It goes all the way up your back and it gives you nice coverage on the booty area. No cheekiness on this one. It does have an adjustable strap here so that you can tighten it or loosen it however you need it to be. And lastly, it has some slight ruching here that kind of helps again to camouflage that tummy area. All right, so that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for joining me in today's bathing suit haul from Target. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. All the bathing suits you saw in today's video will be linked in the description box. Again, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I would appreciate it if you became part of my YouTube family. Go ahead and hit that red subscription button. Thanks again, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.